We will continue our study of, of social learning theory by examining the tenets of modeling. In this video, we will look at the, uh, the concepts that are generally associated with successful modeling of, of information to confer knowledge and to change behavior. Uh, you remember this video that we had, or this sheet we had from Life Course Development. Of course, Life Course Development holds that, that as we journey through life, our goals and objectives change, and that we're in pursuit of an ideal life, but that at different stages in our life, that ideal life may take on different forms. And of course, the uh, vision of the ideal life for the individual is uh, shaped by circumstances that are encountered, and of course, these may range from individual circumstances to global circumstances. You also recall this video where we examined a young individual and on up to, to older adulthood to talk about how those goals and objectives for the ideal life might change. Now all of this has bearing on social learning theory because the innate person uh, has some idea of the, the ideal life that he or she wants to pursue and they will model the behavior that will help bring about what they want in the environment. Now, you'll see all of these arrows are, are mutual. That means there's mutual interaction between all of these things. The model may influence the person. The person may select the model. The model may be different in different environments, and the environment may impact the model, and certainly the environment may impact the person as much as the person in the environment. All of these things, in short, all of these things occur within uh, cultural, uh, gender parameters, age parameters. So this is a very complex process. Now I remind you there is no right process, there is no right methodology, but that there are many of these theories that are indeed useful and do explain a lot of what we encounter. Now, one of the, the tenets of modeling is that not all observed behaviors are efficiently learned. And factors involved in both the model and the learner can play a role in whether social learning is successful. All of this says is that just because you model something doesn't mean someone's going to accept it. And, and the ability of individuals to uh, pick a model and to let that model impact them uh, can be affected by many things, but there are some things or some concepts that do help when we want to bring about successful modeling. Four steps are generally involved in observational learning, and the first of those is attention, then there is retention, reproduction, and of course motivation. These four steps are involved in the modeling. Now, let's look at attention first. Attention is to learn, uh, of course, the individual must pay attention. I, I laugh about that because I, I can remember being in school over and over again, the teacher asking me, are you paying attention? And, and I would wake up out of my daydream. Well, to, to have modeling occur effectively, the, the individual, the observer, must pay attention to that which is to be observed. And, and detractors from attention will, of course, have a negative effect on learning. We see this little individual perhaps observing this individual and interested right at first in, in modeling the behavior. However, we get a distraction. This little individual now has this little individual, and who knows what may occur there because this individual is now forgotten. In order for, for modeling to be successful, the observer uh, must give their attention, and that attention must be gained. I, I laugh sometimes because if you go and you watch television, uh, commercials are designed to get your attention. And, and not only that, they follow through with some of the other steps. Uh, I was laughing about several of the commercials last night that, are, that really get your attention. For example, the little pig on the Geico commercial that cries wee, wee, wee all the way home. Uh, another one that is kind of cute is the camel walking through asking what day is it. And when somebody finally says hump day, the camel goes berserk. It's having a blast. Well, those things are designed to get your attention because if your attention is not gained, you cannot have successful modeling. Now, once attention is gained, the next thing is to obtain retention. 
Uh, to learn, the individual must remember the behavior that drew the attention. And many strategies can be utilized to promote retention. There, there are entire volumes of how you help people retain uh, what has caught their attention. Of course, commercials generally use, they just come again and again and again and again with repetition, and before long, you begin to retain it. Well, in our little picture here, this individual who was distracted a moment ago is now refocused and attention has been gained and is, is retaining thoughts about the modeling. The next is that of reproduction. To effectively learn, the individual must reproduce the behavior. You must get the, the observer's attention. You must help the observer retain the, what they have observed. But the, the next phase is to have them reproduce that behavior. And that by reproducing it, then the behavior the, the becomes ingrained in the observer. And of course, a very important aspect is motivation. To effectively learn, the individual must have a good reason to imitate the behavior. You can observe it, you can retain it, you might reproduce it. But in order to effectively learn it, the observer must buy in to the behavior and must have motivation to model that behavior and learn it. In other words, they must have a reason to imitate the behavior. So many in our day and age want us to learn things without telling us why or giving us, uh, convincing us that it's important or even engaging us in the dialogue. But motivation it must occur, we must, is founded upon us understanding that the behavior is important to us in order for us then to imitate that behavior. Again, I want to thank you very much for your patronage. Again, I love that saying, may the odds be ever in your favor unless we're in the same event. Then it's every man for himself. You have a blessed day.